So, our attention shifts over to the lighting gantry. The ready to race board is on. Wait for the green light as we get the RX150 final. Underway here, good start then from Patrick O'Donovan, not bad at all away from the outside of the front row there for Mark Scott either. Stephen Jones not getting away too badly from what we can see here as they come in towards that first corner, but it is uh, through Chesson's Drift and down the Dover Slope, certainly the race lead then for Patrick O'Donovan. Great start there for him as a couple of drivers jokered on the opening lap. Mark Scott is right on the tail of Patrick O'Donovan through the Devil's Elbow then for the first time. Three RX150 buggies as one on the rise up to North Bend Hairpin. Mark Scott locks the front as he breaks for the hairpin. Has he kept something in reserve during the heat? So, right, I won't show my hand yet. I'll wait until the final and then I will really push and try and take top spot away from Patrick O'Donovan who has been the man to beat so far today in round one of the Motorsport UK British Running Cross Championship Five Nations Trophy as Mark Scott takes the Joker on the second tour. So that does leave Patrick O'Donovan from James Laverty first and second, and Mark Scott filters back into third place. Not bad at all there for uh, Mark Scott. So Patrick O'Donovan leads the way, then followed by the 101 of uh, James Laverty. And up the top of Harry Hill we go. There's a fantastic battle we can see from our commentary position going on a little bit further back. You can just see in the background there is Ewan McGuinness, who has got the number 19 of Steve Jones. Very close to D behind Ewan, of course, in his first ever RX150 race here uh, today. And he's doing a very good job, very late entry indeed to uh, this round of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship and doing a good job out there on circuit as uh, we say of keeping Steve Jones at bay as it stands so far. There is the number 24. Uh, that, of course, is uh, Billy Alexander just coming uh, through the uh, bottom bend. And meanwhile, they continue on in this race. And it's uh, James Laverty who's still not too far adrift of the leader of Patrick O'Donovan so far. No, O'Donovan has been the star. But Steve Jones further back under pressure from Ewan McGuinness. As James Laverty hard on the brakes for the right-hander at the top of the hill. Now the, the race leader with O'Donovan having served that joker lap earlier on. And it is James Laverty who leads the field hard on the brakes for Paddock Ben. It's a little bit screwy. Sideways through the right hand. Uh, not as much, not as sideways as Patrick O'Donovan and Mark Scott. They were putting on a drifting show through the right hander at the bottom of the hill. But James Laverty does now go to the longer route. So we will have a new race leader. And Patrick O'Donovan filters back into the lead with Mark Scott in second. And Laverty, after taking that compulsory longer route does drop down into third the podium on his debut though he won't be uh, unhappy of that no it certainly won't be there you can see the number 29 of uh, mark scott who now sits in second position there is patrick o'donovan at the top of the hill going in towards the right hander at uh, the uh, north bend as it's known and then down the hill and in towards uh, paddock bend the final corner on this lap using all of the uh, Curvings on the left-hand side of uh, the circuit as he goes in towards the right hand. He keeps a nice tight line going through there. Very important to do so to keep it nice and tidy and nice and tight through there to get the best run as you come through into the chicane. So through into the uh, Chester's Drift we go and it's still the top two of Paddy O'Donovan and Mark Scott that uh, leading the way here so far. Feel relatively spread out from uh, one another in this RX150 final, but uh, just proving that the class of the field has been Patrick O'Donovan from pretty much start to finish of today. Yep, from the very get-go, Patrick O'Donovan, 17 years of age, college student, and very rapid in these buggies. It's only his second full meeting in the class, former junior star of the 1.3 litre junior category, now into these really powerful bike engine buggies that get near supercar pace. Patrick O'Donovan starts his final lap and he is in commanding form here so far at round one of the British Rally Cross Championship. Looks like he'll be repeating that on Monday with similar conditions ahead of us. It looks like POD will be revelling in these dry, sunny conditions at the home of the sport flings the car through the devil's There's a problem. So the I, sorry, I, I've got to interrupt you there, Dan. There's a problem here, but those are things that for Mark Scott, we can see from our commentary vantage point, he's crawling to the side of the race circuit and is coming to a halt. And also, more dramas as well uh, for the number for Stephen Jones. So the number 19, he was sitting in, uh, in third place into that, uh, near enough. So, meanwhile, coming through and over the timing line is uh, 
Patrick O'Donovan. He comes through to claim the victory then in the RX150 final. But that does mean that the battle for the podium uh, is now going to be between the number 24 of Billy Alexander and also between... And there's a fire there for the number 19 as well. We can see from our commentary position as well uh, is uh, Steve Jones. So the RX150 buggy actually on fire. Jones probably not so aware of it so far, but he will be as soon as the marshals are there with... Uh, regards to the uh, fire extinguishers and the smoke that's coming out of it and also problems there for the number 29 as we said on that final lap of Mark Scott so two retirements from two potential podium positions